Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share my testimony of how God came into my life. And I realized on my channel, I tell a lot of testimonies about different things God has done, but I, I never gave you the initial story about how God even came into my life. When I was first born, my parents got me baptized in church when I was a little baby. And ever since then, they brought me consistently to church throughout my childhood. And so I grew up in the church and I, like any other kid who grew up in church, didn't really know what was going on. We were just going through the motions and just, we just knew every Sunday, every Wednesday, we had to be there Sunday for church, Wednesday for Bible study. And I didn't even know God really for myself at this point. I just was going through the motions and there was one point, I think I was nine years old or eight, when they started teaching baptism classes at the church I went to. And I just started going to the classes with my parents. And I think my whole family decided to get baptized. Still, I didn't fully understand what that meant. But I did at that age, just based on the class, I remember asking Jesus to come into my heart, not even fully knowing what that really meant. But I did ask that. Fast forward to years later, when I was in high school, you know, when you're in high school, you start dealing with things like peer pressure, people that you go to school with are drinking and partying and things like that. And I became friends with people who were kind of into like the partying and stuff like that. And I just knew all the time there was just something a little bit different about me, you know, when some of my friends in high school, they'd be so comfortable with drinking or smoking and different things like that. I felt like for some reason, it just wasn't right for me to do. And I don't know if I was just like afraid of like what my parents would think getting caught, but I just, there was just like a tug in my heart, just knowing like, Hey, this isn't what you're supposed to be doing. And so Every time I kind of tried to go along with the crowd, I just, in my heart, I just felt like I was not supposed to be there. Or there was something different about me. And there was one night where even though I knew I wasn't supposed to go out, I still wanted to. I think one of my friends, like her parents had gone out of town and she threw this party. And I knew deep down I wasn't supposed to go, but I still asked my parents. I was like, oh, can I go out, you know? I'm going to meet up with my friends and that specific night they were like no absolutely not and I was just like why I was just so mad I was so upset and I remember just getting so mad at God I think I was just like so frustrated I'm like why am I friends with these people and I can't even hang out with them and like what's like I was just so frustrated and then I got a notification from the Bible app and the Bible app had just come out then when I was in high school, like it had not been out for even a year, I don't even think, but I just got it. I think I had just gotten it, I think a month before, and I didn't set up notifications or anything like that. I just had the app on my phone and I get this notification of a Bible verse. I believe it was first Peter chapter four or five, where there's that verse that's like, the devil roams around like a lion seeking whom he can devour. I just remember I got that message right after just like kind of like crying out to God, like, oh, why can't I just be like everybody else? And I remember reading that and it really shook me up. Like this is years later. I still remember that exact moment in my bedroom just being like, wow, like he must really be trying to protect me from something if he's like, or just communicating with me. And so I really, that really stuck with me. And this is my senior year of high school. And so this is right before I'm about to go to college. And so then I took a visit to the school, the college that I ended up going to. And when I was there, I just kind of wanted to fit in and like impress the college kids that I was there visiting with. And I remember wanting to just do what, do what they were doing. You know what I mean? Like just kind of be like, um, I didn't want to be like the weird one who like doesn't drink. I remember one of the girls, she randomly got a text on her phone 
it was like a Bible alert. And I didn't even know this girl. She like brought it to me and was like, you know what this means? And it was a text of Matthew chapter five, verse 13. That was like, you know, um, you're the salt of the world. You're the light of the world, the salt of the earth. Um, and it's basically a verse that just talks about being set apart. And again, I had another one of those moments like I did in when I was in my room, like in high school, I was like, man, you know, this whole thing where I'm like, I feel like something's different about me. It's really God speaking to me. It's God on the inside of me. And when I got baptized, I asked for Jesus to come into my life, even though I didn't fully know what I was doing. I didn't understand what that meant. I was like, wow, like, you know, I was realizing that like, okay, wow, Jesus, he's like in my heart. He's, he's here with me and he's talking to me through his word, through other people, through this girl I don't even know. And so going into college, I just kind of had that foundation. And so <laughs> it doesn't end there. Um, when I got to college, I just always kept my relationship with God in mind. I made sure to join this Bible study because I just had this feeling that God was with me. Even in college, I wanted to kind of like just enjoy it, be like everybody else, you know, who could party without feeling weird. But I would always be at parties, like feeling like, like I couldn't just let loose like everybody else. And that was frustrating for me in a lot of ways, but <clears throat> I wasn't ready to fully be surrendered to God yet. And so I was kind of doing that like, back and forth thing with God. Like sometimes I'd want to listen to him. Sometimes I wouldn't. Um, and so, yeah, I wasn't like, I don't feel like at that point throughout college, I was fully surrendered, but I still made sure to join a church and join a Bible study just so I could always keep that as my foundation. One of the Bible studies that I had been going to on and off throughout the years at my, at, um, at, at my school, they had this big conference and the people in the Bible study, they were like, you need to come to this conference. And so me and my best friend, we decided to randomly just go to the conference. They're like, oh my gosh, they keep, you know, pushing us to go. So let's just go. And we went to the con conference and I just remember feeling so full of the Holy Spirit, just feeling like, you know, just feeling the presence of God. And I didn't even really want to go to this conference, but it kind of changed everything for me. I just interacted. I felt like I felt the presence of God in a real way. I even felt during the conference when people were getting baptized, I'm like, I need to do this again I, because I understand now what a relationship with God is. Like At the conference, there were a lot of messages about what it meant to be fully surrendered to God and identifying with Christ. And, and so... I understood that finally and even though at the conference I didn't get baptized I ended up getting baptized a few weeks later and um, at a I ended up going to a church and getting baptized and then from there went on my first ever missions trip we took a mission trip to Arizona praying with people things like that and like you know sharing our testimonies evangelizing sharing the gospel from there there's just so many things that Jesus has done in my life that could only be because of him. And I share those testimonies on my channel. My whole channel is built around this relationship with God where he has led me to start a school, to pray with strangers in public, that and like all these things that were only a result of him. And so that's basically the main thing that I talk about on this channel because I just want to share it with other people and a lot of times people will respond and you know say how it spoke to them and a lot of times I just am like hey it's not because of me and I can't take the credit and so yeah that's basically how my relationship with God has grown there's been ups and downs I haven't been perfect far from it I just seek him and I know that he's with me and yeah, that's why I'm here to talk about it on my channel. Thank you for listening to my testimony. I share a lot of them on my channel. 
let me know if you like resonate with any of what I was saying. It wasn't, I didn't have this like huge moment as you can tell from my story, but I just know God's always been there and yeah, that's it. So I hope that you found it encouraging in some way and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.